As a hobby soap maker, you've tried making soaps using the melt and pour method or the glycerin method. You've made a lot of soaps. And then you decided to go into the soap making business and luckily for you, it got bigger and bigger. But the old methods are getting harder and harder to use for the large batches you need. So you look at the other soap making methods like the cold process and the hot process methods. But both use a chemical that you're unfamiliar with. Lye. Is lye that good for making soaps? Isn't lye dangerous? Your questions build up and up until finally you ask us about it. You're in luck. We are here to answer all of your questions. Lye, also known as caustic soda, is a basic ingredient in soap making. But what really is lye? Aside from soap making, lye is also used for food curing, known as food grade lye, and also for tanning hides and biodiesel production. Let's first try to understand what lye is through acid-base chemistry. Lye is the common name for sodium hydroxide, one of the strongest bases in nature, a chemical compound that can dissolve fats. Lye is the opposite of hydrochloric acid, one of the strongest acids, a chemical compound used in dissolving metals and some salts. Sodium hydroxide is useful for cleaning jobs inside the house, such as dissolving hair that clogs in the shower drain and dissolving fat deposits in the kitchen. Hydrochloric acid, on the other hand, is used mostly for cleaning concrete and removing rust from iron. However, lye and hydrochloric acid are both dangerous to handle and can be destructive to the skin. It's always important that when handling both chemicals, to use gloves and goggles to protect the eyes. In case you accidentally get sodium hydroxide or hydrochloric acid on your skin, reduce the effect by using vinegar and baking soda respectively. The fastest first aid is to put the affected part under warm running water for about 5 minutes until all the chemicals are washed off. In soap making, there are two types of lye being used, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide, commonly known as caustic soda, is used to make solid soap. It's also used as drain cleaners or decloggers. It's used as an ingredient in the production of methamphetamine, an illegal and dangerous drug. Thus, keeping large quantities of lye is controlled or regulated in some areas. However, for soap making, only pure sodium hydroxide is used. Lye comes in different solid dry forms such as powder, microbeads, granules, flakes, and pellets, and in liquid form as a solution mixed with water. Potassium hydroxide, commonly known as caustic potash, is used to make liquid soap. It's mainly used in commercial chemicals such as fertilizers, alkaline batteries, and dyes. It's harder to find than sodium hydroxide, and soaps made of it are softer and can easily dissolve in water than sodium hydroxide soaps. In soap recipes, sodium hydroxide cannot be substituted with potassium hydroxide and vice versa because soap making have different quantity requirements of these two chemicals depending on the kind of soap being manufactured. In addition, the quantities required for soap saponification differ when using caustic soda and caustic potash. Both types of lye are dangerous to both humans and surfaces like metal, paint, cloth, plastic, and aluminum. It should be stored safely in a cool, dry place and properly labeled. 
Keep lie away from the reach of children. Or else. Even the fumes of lye can be dangerous and must not be used when there is not enough air circulating around the area. This means that you should not close the door and windows in the toilet when using lye to declog the shower drain. Lye is not combustible when dry, but when it comes in contact with water, it can ignite and can start a fire. Lye is a powerful chemical. Like everything powerful, it has its drawbacks and benefits. Use it horribly and you'll literally get burned. Use it wisely and watch your soap making business grow and grow. Though lye is powerful, it's not a magical ingredient that can make soap makers successful. Proper materials are only a part of making a successful soap making business. There's also marketing and strategy. To understand the different elements of creating a successful soap making business, download a free report at supersoapmakingsecrets.com slash free dash report dot html. Learn how to spot untapped market opportunities, evaluate competition, and wade through FDA regulations. Get your free download and learn the secrets to the soap making business.